Hello, my family. Um, tonight, it's going to be very peaceful. It's just you and me in this kitchen. Um, we basically have the whole kitchen to ourselves, so this is going to be very nice and pleasant. We are actually going to be making pure Mediterranean this evening. I had spoken about a dish called pork sovaski, and I'm going to be making this into a bowl. We are going to be having that... And I'm going to be making portobello mushroom ca uh, caps like a tomato uh, capri salad. This is going to be something that I have been wanting to try myself. We're going to do this together. We are going to have fun in our kitchen. We're going to make a beautiful Mediterranean dish, basically low carb. Now, I am going to tell you we are going to be using some homemade hummus. And I am going to top ours with some Kamada and green olives chopped, drizzled with some olive oil. Um, and I will probably sprinkle a little bit of zatar on top of it. Now the one thing I will say, I am definitely going to get some more of this. Because this Alapo pepper that was sent to me over Christmas, y'all, is the best pepper I have ever tasted. And I am going to be absolutely ready for some more of this yum so let's get started because we're going to have an amazing supper tonight so it's us let's go and yes i'm the queen of this kitchen and i'm loving every minute of it i love this thing it's so cool all right let's go to cooking okay my family so i had been marinating our, our pork Slovakia um, overnight but I am going to tell you what is in here and naturally I will always put that recipe in the description area um, this is from the Mediterranean dish it consists of one and a half pounds of pork tenderloin cut into one inch chunks three tablespoons of white wine vinegar five tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil six medium cloves of garlic, that would be minced, a teaspoon of Dijon mustard, two teaspoons of dried oregano, one and a half teaspoons of fresh rosemary minced, one teaspoon of sweet paprika, three quarters of freshly ground black pepper, and one and a half teaspoons of sea salt. So you can add onions in this and lemon juice as well. So this is what this one was made with, and I am not going to do this with a shish kebab style. I'm actually going to um, pan fry these up with some ghee or olive oil. Um, more than likely, I'm going to use olive oil. And again, I'm using Partana's. You can get this at Walmart. This is a really good quality olive oil. So we're going to go ahead and cook these up first, and then we're going to set them aside so that we can make our bowl. Before we get these cooked, um, I'm going to also get the mushrooms, uh, get that ready. We're going to put them in the oven while this is cooking at the same time. So that's what we're going to prep for is the mushrooms, while I also get ready to get this set up for us to cook at the same time. Okay, my family, so this one is really basically going to be simple. I am going to clean around my mushrooms and take off the center because we are going to lay everything on the top of this and do this one the same way. We're going to actually make these our mushroom capri salad well y'all i did say it was going to be just us in the kitchen um, but evidently it isn't <laughs> okay now i am actually going to be taking some cherry tomatoes and we're going to be cutting these cherry tomatoes in half we're going to be lining them on the inside of our mushroom caps. I'm just going to take them and line them all the way around like so. This is like maybe one of the easiest dishes I've ever seen done. I'm going to take a couple of these like this. 
and line them up on the inside. You can slice these in half or more if you wanted to and make them into slices instead of halves. It doesn't matter either way. It's this is exactly what we're going to do with them. We need a couple more for that one. I've never seen a mushroom done like this, but I was so wanting to try it when I seen it. And this one comes from the Australian in uh, his channel's Recipe 30. Okay. And we'll be right back. Okay, my family, we're back. Alright, now I'm just going to place in our fresh mozzarella. This is not from... Um, the shredded you can choose to do what you like y'all, but I like using the fresh They're they melt really nice in my opinion and they taste amazing. So just gonna put some of this in here in each one and Fill the in-betweens with our cheese Same as you would a Capri salad, but just in a different form And we're going to bake this. And now at the same time, it's not a Capri salad without our torn basil. This was a homegrown that we did from the area, um, the hydroponics. We're going to add that in here. And this is going to be served alongside of our um, pork bowl tonight. And I'm just going to continue to break this. I've got one more piece and I'll probably save that for after these are baked for the topping. Now I'm going to drizzle this with olive oil. And then we're going to pop this in the oven until the cheese is melted and the um, mushrooms are cooked and tender. Be right back. Okay, y'all. Sorry about that. I had to do something right quick. Um, so I'm just going to drizzle this. A little bit of olive oil. And on my pan. And now I'm going to pop this in the oven. Until these are done. In the meantime, we're going to get our pork cooked. And then, now we're going to be setting up and we're going to get ready to fry up our, our pork. Alright, my family. So now we're going to go ahead and get our pan heated up. And we're going to be adding our pork pieces. Now this actually does have olive oil in it. So we're going to see how this works. If not, we'll just add a little bit. Well, maybe we will because this thickened up while it was in the fridge. So, uh, get our olive oil. I'm just going to drizzle about a tablespoon in here. And then I'm just going to go ahead and line our pork inside of our pan. Most of uh, most everybody who uses this or makes this puts this on a kebab. You're welcome to do that if you want, but I personally just, it's going to be no different doing it this way than putting it on a, a shish kebab skewer. Um, you can also grill these as well with this marinade. I'm just going to make sure this is smelling really nice too. And we're going to fry this up with the marinade sauce. Give it that flavor. I added uh, the lemon juice that I added in here. I added one whole lemon. Um, fresh lemon juice. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and get these cooked up. I'm going to take the rest of my 
marinade because this is all going to get cooked in this anyway so and there wasn't that much just going to add out all fry this up and then we're going to make our bowls and check up on our mushrooms oh yeah this is looking so good y'all and we're going to go ahead and finish this and then when we come back We'll be assembling our bowls now i will say this dish usually gets served with a side of rice we are not doing the rice on this actually so um we're just going to turn it into basically uh instead of rice i'm going to be making a cucumber tomato salad to put in here we're going to have our hummus um, with our olives we're going to have side of olives in it probably some sliced purple onions and it's going to be a pretty bowl. And then we're going to serve it with a side of our uh, mushroom caps. So we shall be right back. While I'm cooking our supper, y'all, I'm going to also make some tea. But not your ordinary tea. I told y'all that I am going to try once again for Jamaican sorrels. I did get a couple of those sorrels this year. And the tea was so amazing. So for now, I actually ordered some of the dry uh, hibiscus flowers otherwise known as Jamaican sorrels and I'm actually going to be he I'm heating up my water right now and I'm going to steep a few of these uh, sorrel leaves and make me some hibiscus or Jamaican sorrel tea because that just sounds so good right now so I figured I'd let y'all know when you go to see this. If you see this little pot back here and it'll turn red, that's going to be my tea I'm fixing to make. I had to show you this one too, y'all. This parsley is the, also what was grown in those hydroponics. Look how beautiful this is. We're going to be using this in our uh, tomato cucumber salad tonight. So I just had to show that to you. Add this right quick while we're at it. Oh, this is so nice. This is what I love about Mediterranean. This is what I love about this homestead. And this is why we grow fresh. You can't get this any better when you do it yourself. The flavors are uh, amazingly good. Ah, yes. So... Our pork is almost finished. Our uh, mushrooms, and I will show you what these look like. Our mushrooms are finished. Um, let me find my other mitt. There it is. So this, y'all, was our caprice mushroom sides. And so we're going to set this aside and let this cool off just a bit because our pork also is just about finished so we're going to be turning these off and we're getting ready y'all to plate up our supper tonight okay y'all let's show you how we take our basic garlic hummus and turn it into a za'atar with um tomata and green olives in olive oil so i take a bedding of our basic hummus this is homemade from my own home canned chickpeas i'm just going to basically sprinkle the tar all through our mix we're going to serve this with triangles of low carb tortillas that's going to be kind of our bread source so i sprinkled my za'atar. definitely need some more of these this is amazing stuff I don't know about y'all, but I really, really enjoy Mediterranean food. The flavors are just out of this world. You just can't get enough sitar. Sorry. Now I have some minced chopped up olives. And I'm going to sprinkle right in the center of our hummus. That's it. And then I'm going to take our olive oil and I'm just going to drizzle it all over the top. Just like so. And our hummus is finished. Now to set up the rest of our bowls. 
Okay, y'all, so we have our triangles with our low-carb tortillas. We have our green olives. I'm going to take some of our Jerusalem salad, I call this, and pop this in our bowl. Just like so. Take some of this parsley on the spoon that I have here and add that to his dish. And now I'm going to take some of this pork that we have and we're going to add that in with our dinner. Over on this side here. Oh, if you can smell how good this smells, y'all. And if you wanted to, you can actually put these in a pita. Um, that's what most people do. We'll wrap them in a pita, but we're not doing that. We're just going to turn ours into a bowl. And that's basically about it. So um, now I'm going to dress some of this with purple onions on the top of our pork. And now we're going to serve our sides. And we're going to get a bowl or a plate. We have, oh yeah, I did forget one. Our, let's see, scoot this over. I think we're going to scoot it over this way. Because I am going to be adding some, a half of an avocado for both of us as well. I'm going to come down the middle here. Pop this apart. Remove my seed. That one didn't want to work very well, but it got it. Come down here and make my slices nice and neat. Come back with a spoon on my edge and just nicely remove. How beautiful is that? My avocado slices. Now, we'll go ahead, put that right there. And we are going to, sorry for the noise, y'all. I have our side over here so that we can put our mushroom on the top of our plate. Remove the liquids, just like so. And I need some balsamic vinegar. Just a little bit. We don't need a whole lot. I'm going to drizzle that on the top, just like so. And this, y'all... I will set this up and show you the entire dish of tonight's supper. We'll be right back. And now you all can see a better look at our supper tonight. This is our pork sawaki supper bowl. And then we have our hummus. It's a basic garlic hummus with sitar olive oils and chopped olives and then we have our capri salad mushroom portobello caps and that is our mediterranean supper for tonight i will definitely be giving you the recipe to this pork and the marinade y'all the rest of it is pretty simple um, as far as the jerusalem salad it was really just a cup each of tomatoes um, the English type of cucumbers that are seedless, uh, purple onions, those were a cup each, uh, about a good handful of chopped fresh parsley, drizzled with olive oil, some salt and some pepper, and that was it. So um, the mushroom, I will go ahead and I'll put that in there, but that was pretty easy as you all saw. It was just a portobello mushroom cap. Um, you can use any type of tomatoes, whether they're sliced, the halves, or however. Um, fresh 
um, mozzarella cheese stuff that inside of your mushroom bake it at 350 until the mushroom was cooked and it was melted through and this is it this is basically a very simple meal per se um, the pork did rest and marinate overnight but give it at least four hours if you cannot do this overnight this is what this homestead is about this year this is what our goal is is to create meals like what we just did tonight with as much fresh as we possibly can right in our own homestead right from our own homestead i told you my goal was to grab a basket go out to the garden come back into this kitchen and create a meal like we just did right now now granted i won't be able to get the olives or i won't be able to do avocado but the more that I can grow, like the cucumbers, the tomatoes, the parsley, the basil, the more I can do for us, the better off we will. This is what you have to look forward to this year with Parton's Heritage Homestead. My name is Carrie. I hope you're willing to take that journey with me. I have many who have tried and trusted me to present these meals to them they are coming back to me with smiles on their faces y'all these are not my recipes i am sharing them from where i found some amazing resources so far the two most amazing resources i had found is the mediterranean dish and recipe 30. there is nothing yet that we have found that we do not like so with that this gal is hungry we're fixing to go eat much love to each and every one of you. I hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time, big hugs from Parton's Heritage Homestead.